Hey there, welcome back into the shop. It's time for another desk build. Apparently I've turned into the desk maker in our family. Last fall, I built my son a live edge walnut desk. This time, this one is for my sister-in-law. Since I move my tools around quite a bit in the workshop, Sometimes the accuracy shifts, so I always like to double check to make sure nothing is off. That's what I'm doing with my jointer. So after I get the faces and edges all perfect the way I need them, I'm going to set up to do some dominoes. I gotta admit, this is probably the least scientific way of getting this X brace perfect on the desk, but it worked out pretty well. This literally has to be one of the oldest measuring tools I have in my workshop. I bought it years ago and I only use it on the occasion. This is a perfect use for it. This bevel tool works awesome. I just take it over to my miter saw and line up the blade. Now I could have went with half lap joints on the X, but I decided to go with some pocket screws. Worked out good. In the end, I just filled it with some wood filler, sanded it, and after it got painted, you'd never know they were there. Back to the table saw now, I'm going to rip down the pieces that are going to connect all the legs together. Again, it's a mix of pocket screws and dominoes. Something else that might work really well for you is a dowel jig. Besides a chamfer and a roundover bit, one of my most used router bits, either my palm router or this big router, is a rabbiting bit and that's what I'm using to get the side panels in place. Of course it's time for sanding and it took a bit of time, but you know, you gotta get it done. This desk is going to have two drawers, a larger one on the bottom and a smaller one on top. The larger one's going to be for files and the smaller one, well, for whatever else.
And I always like to edge band the plywood, especially on these drawers. Anything that's visible to the eye, it, it looks a lot better. Okay, on to the top now. It's going to be made from red oak, and I like to start by breaking down the pieces with my jigsaw, and then over to the table saw to cut them to width. The planer gets them down to thickness. So I'm going to spend now getting the grain oriented for this oak. I want one board up, the next one down, the next one up, and so on. That's to keep the top flat over the course of time. The simple cabinet scraper is a must for your workshop. It's relatively cheap, easy to keep honed, and it gets the glue off here and rid of any high spots. I'm going to take some time sanding. It's going to be a bit, so I'm going to start at 80, and I'm going to work my way to 220. As for the treatment on the edges of this oak, I'm going to use my larger chamfer bit on the bottom and just a slight one on the top. Finish is pretty simple. Right out of the can, I'm using some espresso, a couple of coats of that, and then I'm gonna wipe it down. Poly is going to protect it. Now I'm putting three coats of this water-based poly on here. This is furniture paint I'm spraying on using my sprayer. This is where you could either use the playing card trick to get the perfect gap on either side of the drawer fronts, or I like to use some leftover edge banding. It works good. Now for attaching the oak top to the base, I'm using these simple clips. On to putting the drawers in. I'm not going to dive too deep into it. I've done a couple of videos in the past if you want to click the link to see how I do my drawers. 